Hey guys, welcome back to some more F1 2018 and part 16 of our Mercedes career mode. In today's episode, we are taking part in the Russian Grand Prix and hoping to make up for our disgraceful performance last time out in Singapore. I tell you what though, it nearly was a case of um, going out in Q1 in this session as well. Uh, we had one of them electrical faults for, uh, I, I think, 12 minutes of um the session or something like that and uh and we only basically got one run uh, and it was a wet weather session we got through in 15th place so we were very very lucky indeed but uh, we did get through and uh, look a little bit more competitive in q2 but we still haven't quite got the the grip of um the sort of low fuel um hyper soft tire setup but Hopefully we can do something, and as I said in the last episode, we should be guaranteed top two whatever anyway. So here we come around the final couple of turns. I don't think we're going to be in contention for pole position. It's been a bit of a, a scrappy lap, and we're coming around the final turn now, and we are a second down on Lewis Hamilton, and only P5 at the moment. Alright guys, you can see we're already 8 tenths up on this lap, we're purple through sector 1, how is our lap going to be? We come up to the line and we go P4, a little bit disappointing in the end there to make up that much time and only go up one place, but that's how close the top 4 must have been, and there you go. Your top 3 are Hamilton, Vettel and Kimi Raikkonen. Goodbye for now then, but we're really just getting started. Make sure to join us again for Lights Out tomorrow. So there you have it, Lewis Hamilton on pole. Only 33 thousandths of a second quicker than Vettel, who was himself 34 thousandths of a second quicker than Raikkonen. We were only a tenth and a half off pole position, but ended up in fourth. So very, very close between the top four. Uh, cars here, Verstappen a little bit further back, uh, six tenths of a second. Alonso, Magnussen, Hulkenberg, Grosjean, and Sainz round out the top ten. Ricardo went out in Q2. He couldn't quite get through on the ultra soft tyres, so um, that's going to be interesting. And and hopefully we'll be able to make a good start tomorrow and get back onto the podium. Good afternoon from Sochi as we prepare to get underway for the Russian Grand Prix. The championship battle has some time to go yet, but still expect no quarter to be given here on this circuit that made its debut in 2014 and has already seen some classic racing. Built on the shores of the Black Sea, the Sochi Autodrome is a 3.6 mile tour around some of the venues built for the 2014 Winter Olympic Games. Close barriers may make overtakes more challenging, but with 56% of the lap taken absolutely flat out, we certainly won't be wanting for pure speed. A fitting arena then to do battle at the pinnacle of motorsport. Anthony Davidson joins me again for the race today. Let's talk about Renault. What do you make of their performance so far this season? Well, the atmosphere within that team seems very positive at the moment. Everyone seems like they're in great spirits and having a lot of fun doing what they do. And that's definitely contributed to the performances we've seen. We're almost ready to go then. This is what the starting grid looks like for today's race. Lewis Hamilton lines up on pole position, with Sebastian Vettel starting alongside. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Raikkonen, the captain, Max Verstappen and Alonso, Magnussen, Holkenberg, Grosjean and Carlos Sainz, Leclerc, Ocon, Daniel Ricciardo and Sorotkin, Van Dorn, Gasly, Lance Stroll and Sergio Perez, Ericsson and Brendan Hartley rounds off the grid. And now it's time to head down to the track. We need a good result today if we want to catch Hamilton in the Drivers' Championship. So, uh, here we are down on the track, and uh, we're starting on hypersoft tyres, moving on to the ultrasofts um, after four laps, I think that looks like. So, 
yeah, looking forward to it. Hopefully you guys are good and enjoying the series. Uh, I certainly am. I'm going to move down that uh, fuel allowance a little bit, just to 15. I give ourselves a little bit of time on rich revs, but um, other than that, no. It's a decent getaway, just slapping the clutch. Yeah, hopefully we can get a, a good result today. Um, you know, I think after Singapore last time with 21 points behind in the, the championship, we definitely need to outscore Lewis today. Um, or basically he's going to go into a uh, more than a race win position. So that's going to be tough. Um to overcome in the final five races. Obviously, this is uh, the sixth last race of the season, so we definitely need to start getting some results over Lewis um, if we are to think about winning the Drivers' Championship this year. But, uh, no, I think we've had a good season with Mercedes. I think it, it was the right decision uh, to pick Mercedes at the start of the year. I've had so much fun on the game. I know a lot of people think I should have went with somebody slower, but uh, that that's a challenge for later down the line. I wanted to have a championship battle this season, um, simply because we've been at uh, slower teams on every F1 game before this. I thought, you know, let's actually have a championship battle to start off with, and then we can go and, and do some projects somewhere else and, uh, you know, and, and, and build them up. But uh, as a world champion, hopefully. But Lewis is going to be very tough to beat. And I uh, need to move that on the overtake, I think, rather than hot lap. As that will give us a bit more power on the straights. But uh, here we go. We are reforming the grid for the race start. Um, I quite like Russia as a circuit. I think it's a, a decent Grand Prix. Um... And always throws up a few little surprises, but uh, yeah, hopefully we can jump Vettel off the grid. He's on ultra soft tyres, of course, so um, I'm hoping that we can jump him. Yeah, Alonso in sixth place, really good performance for McLaren. We're waiting for the lights, and here we go. Lights out, away we go here in Russia. It's not a bad start, but we have been jumped by Max Verstappen. And, and look at the two Ferraris. They're going side by side up in towards turn two. I think this is technically... We're going to have a look down the inside. We've locked up massively. And, well, we've managed to make it into first place. But I think we will let Lewis back through. Because uh, I think he's the one that certainly lost out. Let's have a little look. As we go into the first turn, we probably would have had the Ferraris, or, or we could flashback it, I guess, but uh, I don't think we will. Uh, it was a little bit aggressive. I think if we broke possibly here, then it would have been a little bit better off. We wouldn't have got Hamilton, but uh, we would have probably got the Ferraris. So we will let Hamilton back through at some point. Possibly... Yeah, sort of back off. But we don't want to let Raikkonen through as well. That was the thing I was worried about. We have the inside line and we're alright. Got another inside turn here. So. Okay, that's a good start. Keep it up. so there we go. We come through in second place and hopefully, um, you know, you guys agree with me letting Hamilton back through. I think. It was a little bit of an ambitious move. And hopefully we'll be able to get him on the next lap on the straight. As long as we stay sort of this distance, I don't see why we, we won't. But this is a, a tricky little section and I haven't followed through anybody here this weekend. So I don't know what the, the dirty air effects are. But we seem to be staying nice and close. Which is exactly what we want. It's 
take the bollard with us, why not? We'll go into hot lap mode. I don't think we're going to get close to Hamilton, unfortunately. But uh, nevertheless, a, a good start, you know, one and two. We needed to get past the Ferraris, and we have done that. And now we've just got to try and get past Hamilton at some point. Look at the racing, and look how close we are to Lewis this time. We will have the DRS as well. We've got the DRS wide open on this third lap. We're going to go to the inside. But well, Hamilton outbreaks us, but we do make the move in the end. Hamilton must have locked up or something. I really don't know what happened there. But if we look at this, we had the overspeed on Hamilton and perhaps broke just a little bit early. But as we came into the first turn, you can see we made the move nice and cleanly. And we're into the lead of the Russian Grand Prix. What a start that is for us. And something we needed to do desperately for this championship. And possibly one of the only times in this season that we've had an on-track battle with Lewis Hamilton for the lead of the Grand Prix. There we go. We're in first now. And hopefully, unlike Spain, we can hang on to it. Okay, guys, we're coming into the pits on this lap. Hopefully, everything will be fine. Oh, for goodness sake, I thought I'd put the, the pit limiter on there. I'm sure we did. There we go. So we're in. And uh, ready to go. We're away in 2.6 seconds. That's a pretty good pit stop. It looks like uh, Raikkonen had an equally good pit stop. But uh, we'll be ready to go straight out of the pit lane. Okay, stay clear of the white line on the exit. You'll receive a penalty for dangerous driving if you cross over into the track. There we go. We are out. It's all about getting past Lewis now. When he comes out of the pit lane, but well, look at the amount of uh, time that we've made up on Lewis Hamilton. He's going to come out just behind Kimi Raikkonen, I think. Actually, no, he's come out just ahead of Kimi Raikkonen, but we've managed to build the gap, which is good. And uh, basically, if we hold it together now and hold off Lewis when he inevitably attacks. Well, looking good for a race victory here. Gap to the car in front is five. There is a fault to the DRS. You won't be able to open the rear wing. We're working on a fix. Stay out. Well, we've got a, a faulty DRS, which is is fine, but um, you know we could well have a problem if. Uh, If we do end up behind Hamilton for whatever reason, and we won't have use of the DRS, so yeah, very interesting that that faults in the game and, and good to see. He's starting to turn on his speed, and you can see already how much closer he is. We having to use our rich mix and our overtake button on those straights to hold them off but hopefully through the corners we can get a bit of a distance going due to the dirty air and we've just set a purple first sector see how close he is with those proximity arrows Remaining. This is definitely another chance for Lewis to make a move on this straight. We move up into high. Lewis is going to have a go down our inside. 
we lock up but we managed to maintain the lead go a little bit wide there gonna go into overtake mode and rich fuel mix for this next straight because this could be where Lewis makes a move no chance we're gonna go for the inside line that's where we're defending to but luckily Lewis absolutely nowhere to be found there and hopefully he's used his energy so <laughs> maybe that'll be his last assault so here comes Lewis Hamilton Around our outside, we've got the inside line, and we hold it just about. Well, that was beautiful, clean racing there, and we managed to just about stay ahead. But you feel like it is a matter of time for the car behind, with the the power of the DRS around here, and the slipstream. He's surely going to have a chance this time. Look how close he is. We're going to pick the inside line as our route of defence. We're going to switch down the engine as we come to the end of the straight. And we managed to hold it again. We've got two laps to go here. But Lewis Hamilton isn't giving up yet. Oh, he's given us a shunt on the straight take the inside line I think we're okay but let's have a little look at that on the replay when we get around this corner that was <laughs> a little bit of a shunt we decided to go that side and he's lost a bit of his front wing that's what it was if we look from on board Lewis Hamilton um, we will see we sort of take our inside line we just follow the same line if you if you watch you can see we're turning that way. He tries to come across. He misjudges it. Loses a bit of his front wing. Goes around the outside. We manage to hold the inside line. And you can see we're just struggling with understeer on the exit there. But Lewis Hamilton, boy oh boy, is he putting pressure on me here. We have been very lucky to hold on. Got one more lap though. Where we have to hold on. Ah, little lock up. That could be all the difference. We haven't got as good a run this time. Lewis Hamilton in our slipstream. We're going to take the inside line. Hamilton takes the outside line. Oh, we hold on. Just for Hamilton's there. Once again. He's having a look round our outside. We're all right for now as long as we get the breaking point right. Lewis Hamilton has a look down the inside, but we're okay. We hold on. We need to move the energy down because otherwise we're going to be out of fuel. We've got one more straight that we need to hang on. Go a little bit wide. Surely Hamilton's going to take advantage this time. Maybe he's too far back though. Hamilton. Ugh, hasn't got an answer. I think we might have just about done it. got literally no fuel we're gonna go into lean mix the checkered flag is out we're gonna come round the final turn and we have won the Russian Grand Prix come on absolutely awesome just amazing well done so Mercedes have won it and what a great race it was so 
So, Ant, how exactly did they set themselves apart from the pack today? I feel like consistency was probably the key today. There's being quick, and then there's being quick lap after lap after lap. If you can do that, you can capitalize on other people's errors without making many of your own. And that's an approach that can push you a long way up the field. And here are our podium drivers today after that excellent race. They've excelled here as they so often do, and it's a well-deserved victory. Mercedes then are on top today. And now let's take a look at the driver's standings. Well, the lead at the top has come down after a poor result for our points leader. And now I'd like to ask you, Anthony Davidson, who was your driver of the day? Let's give it to Sergio Perez. That was a commanding performance today. Very impressive indeed. And here's how things are shaping up in the Constructors' Championship. Mercedes have extended their lead at the top of the standings. After all this drama, you'd be mad not to join us for the next race. We hope to see you then. Take care. Well, what a Grand Prix that we end up winning in the end. Lewis Hamilton finishes second, only half a second behind. I tell you what, though, that was one of the best on-track battles I've ever had in a Formula 1 game. Kimi Raikkonen completes the podium in third. Vettel finishes fourth. Verstappen fifth. Ricardo up to sixth from 13th. Good performance from him. Alonso seventh. Perez eighth from 18th. Ocon ninth. And Leclerc in tenth. As you can see... We've closed the gap to 14 points now in the Drivers' Championship. So things are looking very, very good indeed. Very, very happy with that. That was a... Uh, Amazing performance out there. A really good really drive. Good. Was there really any competition for you today? You performed better than last weekend. What changed? You gained a lot of positions during the race, didn't you? Everything went your way today. It looked like you had a really good strategy for the race. Great, well that's everything. What a battle with Lewis Hamilton on the track there. I just, whoa. Just makes you want to play more and more, that sort of race where, you know, we were holding off. It's uh, probably the first time we've had a heavily defender position like that this whole season. Lewis Hamill was really coming at us at the end and uh, unlucky not to win. But uh, there you go, some uh, resource points. We didn't win uh, the practice programs one simply because we haven't uh, been doing practice. So because... Uh, I, I don't want to develop the car anymore. Well done. Keep pushing like this for the rest of the season. There we go. We've got contract negotiations. We might as well do this on camera. Um, as you can see. Renegotiate your contract. Here you can see the current deal. Once negotiations begin, the team will make you an offer. You can accept if you like, but I strongly suggest we push for better terms. So I, I think we can move it up to that. And probably get some pit stop efficiency in there. I think that might uh, help us out. Let's see. Okay, Actually, we could have done a lot better. Seems all parties are happy with the deal, so it'll commence at the next race weekend. And there you go. I'm I'm quite happy with that though. Decent uh, a decent contract, most definitely. Um, and uh, we're heading to uh, where are we heading to next weekend. Let's let's have a look. I think it might be USA. Is it? No, it's Japan. So Japan next weekend. Uh, looking forward to that one at Suzuka after our fourth victory of the season. If you have enjoyed that, then make sure you do leave a like down below. It really does help me out. It means a lot to me as well. Subscribe to the channel for more regular F1 content. And I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Thanks for watching and goodbye.